Come on in, check it out. Slick videos and high gloss listings are now the norm in Canada's frenzied real estate market. Record low interest rates and a pandemic fueled drive for more space are pushing prices ever higher. Pre-COVID, your home was your castle. But during COVID, oh my God, you're working out from home, you're homeschooling from home, you're working from home and you're relaxing at home. So she says condo dwellers are buying houses, homeowners are buying bigger houses, and others are buying cottages. And bidding wars mean the original listing price is, well, unrealistic. You need to expect that that price is going to go up by three hundred to six hundred thousand dollars. Obsessing over real estate is something of a national sport here, but some experts say even by Canada's overheated expectations, alarm bells are going off. In some ways, this is the most dangerous, uh, n- most dangerous buildup of prices that I've, that I've seen, and you know I've been I've been doing this since the early '80s. His concern is that if things get too hot too fast, a correction becomes inevitable. We think something has to be done to cool demand before, you know, a lot of people get in over their heads. The question is what? Raising interest rates would do the trick, but that would slow the economic recovery from COVID. And some say if higher home prices are the cost of getting the economy back on track, so be it. I don't think we're facing something that's going to cause a major financial calamity in the economy. It's like a side effect of the medicine that we need to take in order to get the economy moving. For now, the policy priority is focused on getting COVID under control so shops can reopen and people can get back to work. Talk about sun-filled. The gamble for policymakers and real estate agents alike is that the long-speculated housing bubble bursts, making a historically bad situation much worse. Peter Armstrong, CBC News, Toronto.